All right, here we have is Machina, and today I'm going to show you how to record or set your input device in order to record um, into Machina. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Machina and you're going to go to the audio mode settings, and then you're going to go to routing, and you're going to define your inputs. And as you can see right now, I have input built-in microphone input one and built-in in microphone too. So I have the stereo microphone on the Mac and there you can see some signal and that's it. It's routed. And here you have your outputs and by default I'm just using the internal Max audio engine. I have no interfaces selected. I only have core audio. So and I'm gonna keep it at 44.1 and the sample rate's fine and we'll just click OK. And next we have when you hit sample on the machine this window opens up and pretty much on the machine itself, this record, edit, slice, mapping, if I, I can click with my mouse and I can move across all these different settings or I can do it from the machine itself um, and it pretty much follows the same thing. When you're under the record tab, you can see this input section right here and right now when you have EXT, it means external input and I have, I've defined that right here. From the machine itself, you can just turn the rotary input knob uh, right below where it says input. You could turn the rotary knob to get um, input. See, so like right now, I'm turning the knob. I'm at left, and I go right or left and right because I want to do I want to do stereo input, so I'll go left and right. Um, the next part is that you have this thing called a threshold, and what the threshold means is that you hit start to recording, and as soon as this threshold's broken, you could record your signal. So let me let me change. I could change the threshold right here from Machina, turning the knob, which is really a lot more comfortable than turning up and down with the mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it up higher a little bit here. And when I hit start, it's going to start recording. Now, until I block it, so I did, I hit over. Now I'll go ahead and hit stop. And so now, as soon as I went over my threshold, it starts recording. So now once I've got in, now once I've recorded some material in here, I could go back and I want to edit. So I would either click on edit from the software or I can hit edit from the machina. And now once I'm in edit, I want to first just on, there's a few pages here that you can view different information. There's three different pages in fact. There's first page, uh, we can see all the information. I'll tab to the second page and tab to the third page. On the machine itself, Everything you are doing is on the left-hand window, and on the software itself, we see everything all in one go. So the very first tab, it talks about trimming the sample. So let's just go ahead and grab that very first part. So all I'm doing is just grabbing the end part. And if I go ahead and hit the sample, we can audition what, what that noise is. And then I could change the input if I just want to hear the last. And and I'm auditioning the sound by actually hitting the pad on the machine itself. And you can see that I'm hitting, when I'm hitting the pad, you can get, it changes symbol. You can see it lights up. Um, you get your output signals over here. Pretty interesting stuff. So again, now if we go back to the record, I'm my input is, I define it right here uh, on the machine itself. Um, in my next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this from using a more high-quality mic and an audio interface.